hey, there's a lot of guys out there that can do a lot of cool dribbling drills through their legs. They can't go nowhere in the game. They're not explosive, they don't know how to move. You gotta practice movement. You gotta practice drills that are effective in the game. How many guys are gonna come in the gym and run every day full speed with the basketball? Let me tell you, not many. That's why you got a lot of good guys that can do a lot of drills on YouTube and do halftime dribbling, but not many guys are playing at the next level. When we're talking about finishing, even though it sounds a little crazy, I'm not gonna talk about LeBron. I'm not gonna talk about Dwayne Wade a whole lot. I'm gonna talk about Nash and Stockton because this is for point guards and you gotta be able to finish against that bigger guy. You're not 6'8 with a 44 inch vertical and if you are, finishing isn't as difficult. I've gotta teach you the strategies we use to finish against these more athletic players. Hit step, punch, ah, 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 right there. I get my stance, I get ready to go, I touch, open up the chest, punch, ah, ah, right there. Defensively, you set the tone. If you're getting after a guy right off the bat and you're being vocal, then that kind of sets the tone for everyone behind you. Ball, because see, I'm not closing his window on that closeout. I want to put my left hand up and try to close his window. Larry Bird once said, you know, it's very easy for him when guys left him an open window. You can put your hand up all you want to contest, but if you leave him a window, much easier shot. But if I can just walk straight at somebody, I become very hard to guard because they don't know what to do. They've got to make a decision. And as I'm coming at them, I want to face them and attack. If Cody is front hip, boom, you see that ball behind my foot. If Cody is back hip, you see that ball front. And if he's middle ground, you'll see a middle foot straight arm dribble. And that's huge. It's right there. And it's got to be through there in one dribble with extreme high ball and hand time from here to here. You got to have high ball and hand time because that's a pressure zone. Another skill we want our guards to be able to form is they, we want them to be strong with the ball when being pressured. These guys got to be able to shoot the basketball. They're going to have it in their hands late in the game. They're going to have to knock down free throws. They're going to have to be able to hit shots late in the shot clock. When we're up top of the basketball, we got to get a shot off. They've got to be able to shoot because it makes them one step quicker and it makes players have to get up in them. They can't give them that distance which makes getting to the basket a lot easier and creating shots for teammates. Great point guards got to be the best shooter on the floor hands down so they got to come in the gym and they got to practice the right way. We love the jump rope. We believe that basketball is a game of rhythmic footwork patterns. This is going to reinforce that. If I get them on that back hip, I want to slide in. Then the double team. It's going to jump right into them. And I want to own my space. So that guy's front hip, I just sweep right there and take it. Fall into my spin and a with a hard punch. If I want to beat this guy, I want to be in tight. I want to be close enough where I can touch him and attack him. Well, I'm coming right here as a double team. Bang, right here is a trap. I pull him back, pull him back. Bang, I want to get there and I want to turn that corner. And I'm making the three. Here comes the double team. There's my popper. Boom, right there to the shot with the behind the back. Get ready to bring it. 